maybe Nairo, but I gotta go with Jewel. Mm -hmm. So both these players. So Solid. I feel like it's gonna be really hard for Jewel to get out of a disadvantage uh, against Yoshi. But I feel like um, with Robin's sword and um, her projectiles, he might, uh, well, she might be pretty good at keeping Yoshi out. Yeah, I mean, she's definitely got a uh, thunder, that pesky mm -hmm. little thunder. That's always good. And the L thunder that kills too. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Dude, that thunder, like the singular, that one, <laughs> that is so annoying. It's such, <laughs> the lag looks so low on that. Yeah, no, it's, it's really low. And and John's actually doing a good job of avoiding it, it so far, <laughs> yeah. Looks like he's pretty comfortable with this matchup. These guys definitely have played a number of times before. Yo, that footstool is almost clean though. Imagine if we got the follow-up. Oh, and that's another thing that you're going to be seeing a, um, a lot from Jewel. Yeah, he really likes um, messing around um, with items, whether they be uh, the Levin Sword or the Book. Um, when Robin's durability runs out, because um, that's a thing uh, unique to Robin, and he just, <laughs> John just and did, did that. <laughs> okay, so Robin has kind of a durability system um, where they um, can only use um, their, like, um, Levin Sword Aerial slash Match Attacks and um, Magic Spells a certain amount of times, um, and then they'll have to wait for it, um, for it to like recharge. Right. So right now he doesn't have a Levin Sword, mm -hmm. which is uh, going to so make um, his um, aerials their weaker. Aerials and Smash Attacks uh, a lot weaker. Yep. But on the other hand, you get the item to play around with, which is neat. okay. Yeah, that I mean, forward smash is a great punish on the down. Yeah, right John's there. actually doing a pretty good job avoiding all the projectiles. Oh. But that was very scary That's right Yoshi there. That's Yoshi privilege. <laughs> yep. Yoshi is this is why I don't ironically take Yoshi terrifying to, uh, on his own stage. You yeah, know what no, I mean? This is why I don't take Yoshi to tripods. Like, Yoshi on tripods is yep. kind of only. You just get hit by all those up airs. Hey, yeah, hit just up air, up air, up air. <laughs> like, you'll take like 60. <laughs> but least. it looks like Jules answering back pretty well. Missed the arc fire to up smash confirm right there, but um, he's keeping this even right now. Yeah, no, this is definitely doable for both of them. Mm -hmm. Anyone's game right now. Yo, that Elf Thunder is pretty scary, though. Um, it actually has a pretty good kill power, so it's definitely something to watch out for from when playing against Robin. And did you see uh, that, like, Little I think it was... reverse yeah. wave bounce, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, he does a lot of that. Yep. Like, Jewel is an expert at this character. Like, mm -hmm. he's just, he's just a Absolutely character specialist. Insane. Like, he played this character in 4 when <laughs> it's probably worse, honestly. <laughs> I feel like the whole roster Ooh, in this game. That was a very so quick response, very quick reaction, and Jules going to be gonna taking the lead pressure, for the first yep. time this match. So, good stuff knowing. Yeah, I mean, obviously. So, let's see how Suarez can answer this. Just barely missed that Nair there off stage, but that Nair is going to connect. Yep, those Nairs let's out of shields draft. are. Pretty scary at ledge. Like, they won't really like kill, but they're very annoying to deal with because of how quick the Nair is. Like, including jump squad, it's frame All six, right. but he's that like, that forward smash is just gonna you gonna make jump in with an right there. You gonna jump in with an aerial? Let me just lean, lean back. back. Boom, <laughs> headbutt. Yep, that's it. Oh, that double arc fire oh up smash is gonna do 66 percent. Right. Jules' Jewel. damage output is so insane. Jewel. All right, but then you got Yoshi too. So, especially <laughs> on the stage, like we oh, said yeah. before. Yeah, this is one forward tilt away from being dead even. Like, <laughs> one forward tilt, one up tilt, up air. One so, forward air yeah, off stage. Yeah, no, I'm, not, I'm really not counting him out at all. Oh, definitely yeah. not. <laughs> but, I mean, Jewel is looking pretty comfortable right now. And it could be really hard to get in on Robin when you're uh, significantly behind like this. He's, <laughs> look at this. He's just holding it. He's walking Ooh, back. That Miss Thoron's not going to be good, though. And, He's just so confident. Suarez is starting to get a little bit of momentum, but it seems like Jewel was able to reset decently. All right, doesn't get the book. Ooh, forward air going to do it. And that forward air is going to take it. So um, one other thing that I want to mention about Robin between games, Arc Fire on ledge is so, so annoying. Oh, yeah. It lingers for so long, pops them up, and I think it hits below ledge too. Um, yeah, I wonder no, if we're going to be seeing um, a lot of that in this set, or if Yoshi's double jump armor can get around it easily. That's actually a good point. It might... I feel like I wouldn't be surprised if it got invalidated by <laughs> double jump armor. Yeah, double jump armor kind of changes the game at ledge because it's just such a strong option, and a lot of uh, traditional ledge traps just won't work. Yeah, like uh, my Gordos. 
mm -hmm. for example. But, like, that's just... Yoshi's just so good at getting mm -hmm. out of disadvantage. It's kind of crazy. Yep. Okay, so we're going to be going back to Yoshi's. I don't know if I agree with this pick for Jewel. Well, yeah, well this... actually, this is um, Suarez's counter counterpick, so I definitely right, agree right. with it from Suarez's perspective, but I don't know if Jewel should have let him run it back. Uh, because I mean, stuff his, like, his this process, can happen! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, his thought process were probably like, all right, I won here. Mm -hmm. That means I can win here again. So. Yep. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, but I can see an argument for both of them. Yep. Picking this stage. Another thing to note about the stage is the slants can kind of uh, change up the ledge trapping a little bit. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, eggs might bounce a little bit differently. Oh. Fair and air. Okay. Robin's all stage. Aggressive option. Oh, oh no. no. Uh, and John. That looked like a miss input right there. Yeah, no. He was, he's like, oh no, I did not mean to do that. You I understood what he was like going for moment. there. Uh, Robin can be pretty vulnerable off stage um, because. Um, oh my. And this is a best of three, too. Mm -hmm. So, this is just that's how gonna stacked hurt a lot. this is. This is Loser's Quarters. This tournament is so stacked. Yep, we have uh, this is the a Long weekly. Island and New York people. We have weekly, the MDVA yeah. people. Yep. I mean, to be fair, it's usually pretty stacked, but yeah. we have invaders right now. Yeah, it's extra stacked. I anyway, mean, though, we got a beat here really, tomorrow. It's really, really looking like Suarez is having trouble making yeah. this back. And that is going to yeah, be and, uh, Suarez shaking an his head. absolutely he's, epic snipe off he's, stage. A, he's a little bit on tilt. And yeah. Robin can kind of do that. Oh, yeah. This arc, is double arc wrong. fire into Fortnite. That's so much Jewel damage. Is, that Jewel arc fire is, really is so insane. But if you noticed, uh, Jewel went for Nosferatu right there and it didn't come out. The I think um, he might have been out of it or something like that. Or I, I don't know what happened there. This is, yeah. This oh, is and that narrow stage is going to take it. And John, not looking too happy. Don't blame him. <laughs> uh, the SD was really the game changer there. He was winning the first stock. He had him at like 100. And then he just couldn't make it 